Welcome back. Mm -hmm. Subway Friday Football Fever. We bring in Herald mm -hmm. Tribune columnist Doug Fernandez. Doug was at Riverview tonight watching the uh, season ender against uh -huh. Booker. Riverview has some nice pieces coming back, and they, they finished the season strong. Uh, Two-game winning streak. Uh, Todd Johnson field. In fact, they, they gave him another Gatorade bath after this victory, <laughs> like his first one. They go into the offseason with a two-game winning streak, 14-7. to seven. And you're right, they're, they're graduating some guys, but they have two coming back. Karen Higdon, freshman running back. Ran for uh, 196 yards on 32 carries. That's nice. Oh, Dominic Marino only passed for 97 yards, but he also ran for 91. Pretty much directed the offense fairly well. So Todd Johnson was very happy. At least he has something to build on going next something season. Something to build on for yes. next year. Let's talk about Venice, the way the Indians are just really cruising into the postseason there. They've only had one loss this year, did Venice. Uh, they get a 24-7 win over mm -hmm. a very good playoff team in Naples tonight. Grant Flessner throwing it well. Danny Dillard back healthy. Indians could be poised for a, a deep playoff run. No, Dillard was, was had that injury there for a couple of games. Now he's back healthy. We've talked about this before. Yeah. You want to be playing your best football at this time of season, and it looks like Venice is, uh, you know, perennially the last few years, they've been a team to reckon with. I don't expect anything differently this season. Could make a nice little run. Run game always helps with Danny Dillard there. Uh, Manatee, nationally ranked, they will host Pinellas Park, a game they should win pretty easily. You know, out of all the teams that are making the playoffs in the area, I think Manatee will go the farthest. Uh, if they win, they're looking at a state semifinal berth against St. Thomas Aquinas. As I wrote Rematch. a couple of weeks ago, St. Thomas Aquinas lost their first district since 1996, so they're going to be on the road. So for that to happen, they have to do their headway on the road uh, game at Hawkins Stadium in December, state semifinal. Palmetto will get uh, uh, an easy win, uh, should be in their first round of the playoffs. Lakewood yeah. Ranch has to play Armwood Seffner, top 10 in the nation. That is a tough game. That'll wrap things up for this week's edition of Subway Friday Football Fever. We'll have at least one more show this season next week, playoff football. Meanwhile, you can catch up on htpreps.com. There's more local news and weather just ahead. Stay with us.